What we are doing today is we are looking at the am I the asshole subreddit and we are going to see if this person is the asshole. Okay, am I the asshole for not wanting my husband to go to his ex's funeral? Oh shit. I admit I'm biased right off the bat. I couldn't stand her. I call her his ex to myself and others. He called her his friend. We are all in our... Don't judge it. Guys, guys, we got to read. We're all in our early 40s. She died recently. Aneurysm. That's fucking scary. Um, I've been with him for 10 years now, but he'd known her for 20 plus. He was clear early that she was important. So they dated, got... Whoa, got married? Okay. But then they're still friends after. That's fine. I expressed some discomfort at him being so close to an ex. I'm going to say that's that's reasonable. And he told me that's fine. If you have a serious issue with it, let me know and I'll save us some time. I'll choose her. I like you and all. Whoa. But I've been, I've known her for 12 years and she's the most important thing in my life. Okay, that starts out strongly worded, but low key, props to him for telling her straight fucking up. Right off the gate, if he's saying that, that's huge, right? So he's saying, this is how it's going to be. If you don't want it, let's save time and not be a thing. When we were engaged, I asked again. He gave me a perplexed answer. Why would us getting married affect my friendships? W man. Yeah. Some people break up and are still friends. It does happen a lot. Yeah, exactly. I sucked it up and went along. I resented every moment of knowing her, uh, especially when we had to be social. She understood some part of him. I couldn't. Her That is kind of like a jealousy thing. Her husband... Oh, so she, she also has a husband? Come on. Was fine with me. Oh. Her husband was friends with mine as well. So it's not like I could uh, use him as an angle. He'd have lunch with the ex. They'd go to their geeky movies and whatever. That's a little... Going to lunch... Uh, okay. The few times I brought it up, he said, We've had this conversation before. You had your chance to back out. Props. W. Uh... She died after they had lunch the other day on her way to the, her car. He spent a bunch of time crying, but honestly, I was relieved. He was working with her husband on the funeral planning. I told him, you're, uh, you don't think you're going, do you? What? Use him as an angle? Yeah, what? That's insane. Okay. Yeah, holy shit. I'm not even done. Like, what can she do to not be the asshole here? My argument summed up. She's dead, so she's not a factor anymore. He doesn't get to use this she's my friend excuse since she doesn't exist anymore. Dude, this has to be a troll. No fucking way. She's your friend, so why do you care about her anymore? Like, that. how is that? Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 and she's... This has got to be bait. Dude, there's no way. Him, her husband, and my sisters are calling me an insensitive asshole over this all saying that there's no romantic aspect to their relationship and that i'm heartless her husband went as far to calling me a ghoul for how i've reacted yeah you're the asshole when he divorces you he probably won't have to explain his his friendship with you to the next woman because seriously who want to stay friends with a woman who's treated you like this wow wow that is yep that's that's gold that's incredible. Congrats on your impending divorce. Yeah. All right, let's do like a couple more. Okay, am I the asshole for going to my friend's house when my wife told me to fuck off? My 28-year-old male, so he's 28, and his wife is 27, is seven months pregnant. Yesterday, my wife came back from her parents' house, and I made homemade pizza for us. She told me she doesn't want pizza. She asked for homemade chicken dumplings. I told her I'm not making that. That'll take ages. She told me she's pregnant and she is craving dumplings. I told her, I know you're pregnant, but I'm not making dumplings for you. She started having a rage that I could I, that I wouldn't cook for something. It was 6 p.m. at night. I'm not whipping out all the, this ingredients. I told her to make it herself or to not have anything. Okay. Mm. I told her I'll make dumplings tomorrow night, but not for her tonight. She told me to fuck off somewhere else. I asked my friend if I could stay the night with him, and he said yes. Pack clothes slammed the door behind me. When I was halfway to my friend's house, my wife texted me begging for me to come back. So I told her to fuck off like she did with me? Oh, that's kind of... I'd say... I'd say you... The text, you probably should go back. I, I would say not the asshole. I, the, yeah, that he, he was golden until the end. You can have emotional mood swings and being mad. Oh, you're not going to cook dumplings for me? Fuck off, right? If you're pregnant, you can have those mood swings. But for then him to say, nah, you fuck off. When she says she's sorry, this is everyone's asshole. He he had it until the very end. That's really sad. Yeah, she also could have ordered food. 
So I don't know. Nobody's an asshole? Nah, I mean... Honestly, it could be seen that way, but... Uh, I was gonna say not the asshole to the last sentence. Yeah, exactly. Same here. Uh, I also didn't like that he says either eat this or eat nothing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Either eat this or eat nothing. Like maybe make something. Like he could have said, "Oh, well, I can make something else if you don't like the pizza. That's easier to make because chicken dumplings are hard to make, right?" Yeah, he's being bit, like petty about it. It's like, dude, just understand. Yeah, I'm saying everyone's an asshole here, but like on a minor scale, it's not that bad. Uh, because she's hormonal, but she also, like, and then he also, like, had a reasonable standpoint of, like, dude, I made you the dinner, and, yeah, so, I'd say it's an, everyone is an asshole, but it's also just a kind of shitty situation, so I could say it's in between nobody and everybody at the same time, because it's just, like, unfortunate, but he also didn't have to be petty. Yeah, not like she's trying to keep him from a funeral. Exactly. So, yeah, at least a friend was nice. Okay, so not everybody, because the friend let him spend the night. So not everyone's an asshole. But, yeah, I mean, that's just kind of a part of pregnancy. Was she overly aggressive about it? Yeah, tell him to fuck off and spend the, nice, the night elsewhere is pretty extreme. So, it, it's in everybody. It's in everybody. Homemade dumplings. I know, I, I know. But I'm, st I'm still saying everybody, because he could have just said, uh... Like, like, if your wife is saying, I'm sorry, like, I, I just was in a mood swing, you say, I'm, you know, yeah, don't hold grudges. We don't hold grudges in my family, you know, like, I'll get in arguments with my sisters or whatever, um, over, like, small things. You don't hold grudges. Literally, like, ne next hour, a day after, might be a little salty, might be acting a little different, but you still, they're your family, you know? Okay, let's do this one. All right. Oh, he meant, haha, okay. Am I the asshole for leaving my husband for a Christmas trip to Hawaii with our kids? Not going with, okay. That sounds fucked up. Uh, every year, my family spends our Christmas in Hawaii. We've done it every year since I was your family. So that includes your husband, I'm assuming. We've done it every year since I can remember. It's a fun tradition for me. After me and my husband had kids... We had to reorganize our family Christmas plans because his parents wanted to see our kids for Christmas. So we decided that we would celebrate Christmas with his parents on New Year's and go to Hawaii for actual Christmas. That's actually good. That's That sounds reasonable. This is a system that's worked for us up until last year. Last year's dad passed away around this time of the year and it hit him and his mom really hard. For obvious reasons, we didn't go to Hawaii. This year we planned it out so that way we'd do the ho holidays early. we do Thanksgiving with his mom. And we'd do Christmas in Hawaii since me and the kids missed out last year. Things were going well until right before our flight. About a week out, he said he was unsure. He said that he thinks it might be better that we stay. He said he really wants to spend Christmas with his family and felt like his mom really needed it. That is true. If his mom is alone, that's reasonable. Because if his mom was like, oh, yeah, we'll just have Christmas later. And I can just be with my husband. And, you know, we'll have our own little nice two-person Christmas. And then we'll have the family Christmas on New Year's. You know, they can cope during the actual Christmas and hold over. Um, but when you're alone, that is way harder. So that's kind of reasonable. Let's continue. Uh, I was unable, un I was unhappy about this. We made the plan. We saw her last month. We already had my dad buy our tickets uh, and hotel. So it'd be incredibly unfair to me, him and our kids, for us to not go just because of his mom. Uh, who we'd seen a few days after we get back anyway. We got into an argument about uh, and proposed that me and the kids can go to Hawaii and he can stay there with his mom. He decided to do this, but he was clearly, uh, very clearly upset that I wasn't going to forego my family's Christmas tradition just to see my family uh, and seeing my family, sorry, just for his mom. Okay. So now I'm in Hawaii and wrangling and watching and wrangling the kids by myself while he, he's home alone he have said uh texted he have said texted me or responded to me much he have said okay um when i call him he only talks for about 3 minutes before wanting to get off the phone with me and talk to the girls am i the asshole i think no one's an asshole i think no one's an asshole here yeah nta